So guys, do you know this man? Well, if you don't know who this man is, this is John Mueller or Muller, Mueller. I would never know how to say his name, so forgive me for getting it wrong if I have. But John Mueller, he is the search advocate at Google. So he is a very, very important person when it comes to SEO and what we should or shouldn't be doing as webmasters and as SEOs ourselves. He is the voice of search for Google. So he is the go-to guy. Now, recently he was on a usual webmaster conference with other SEOs out there who ask him questions in a Q&A. And something really interesting came out of that. And that is, he explicitly said that the quantity of backlinks doesn't matter. It's more about the quality. Now, you might think that sounds pretty straightforward, that the quality of backlinks when you're building links for a website for your SEO makes more sense to have higher quality. But he actually said that quantity doesn't matter at all. So we're going to take a look at what he said in that conference and in that video and understand whether or not he's lying. Because ultimately, his job as search liaison for Google, it's his job to make sure people follow his guidelines and his words. So let's take a closer look and understand whether or not he's just lying to us and trying to get us to do what Google wants us to do, as opposed to doing things that we should be doing to improve our organic rankings. Hey guys, Darren Taylor of TheBigMarketer.com here and my job is to make you a digital marketing expert. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a trainer and consultant specializing in digital marketing. Videos like this one is what you'll see here on the channel. So if that sounds of interest to you, you should consider subscribing and don't forget to ring the notification bell. In this video, we're looking at John Mueller, who is the search advocate at Google. He is the voice of SEO at the big G themselves. So he said something recently very interesting that the quantity of links doesn't matter. But don't take it from me. Let's take a look and listen carefully to what he actually said. Um, what matters the most? The number of unique referral backlink domains or the total number of backlinks? Uh, so I don't think we differentiate like that in our system. So from my point of view, I, I would tend not to focus on kind of the the total number of links to your site or the the total number of domain links to your website because we look at links very uh, in, a, in a very different way and we try to understand what is relevant for a website how how much should we weigh these individual links and the total number doesn't matter at all because you can go off and create millions of links across millions of websites if you wanted to and we could just ignore them all or there could be one really good link from one website out there that is for us like really important sign that we should tr treat this website uh, as something that is relevant because it has that one link i don't know maybe from like a big news site's homepage, for example so the total number essentially is is completely irrelevant now, admittedly, some of what he said there made sense in terms of the quality of links, but something he said that was really stark to me was the quantity of links doesn't matter at all. Now, that to me is a big red flag. Now, there are a ton of reasons behind why that's a red flag, but the most obvious one is, yes, quality matters, but what if you get a high quantity of quality? So if you're getting loads of backlinks of a high quality and your competitors getting a similar level of backlink, but less quantity, but of the same quality, then you should be doing better on the search results pages by virtue of having more authoritative links than your competitor. So quantity does matter. And don't just take my word for it. This is the approach from a study in Ahrefs. Ahrefs is an SEO tool and they recently did a study. Let's take a very quick look at that study. So here's a case study from Ahrefs, which is an SEO tool. And what they did is they built a list of prospects in order to get backlinks to go out there with their content. Now they produced a piece of content around SEO stats and they found a number of prospects who would like to potentially share those stats. Now, of course, they built a short list. They didn't just decide on one or two or three websites. They've made a clear distinction in this study between, you know, 1,900 potential prospects who might be low quality and a very specific hit list of high quality websites. Why build a list and get great results from SEO if you're targeting just one or two websites? You want to get more than that. So quality matters and quantity matters too. The quantity of quality matters. So the question is really, is John Muller lying to SEOs about what works and what doesn't? In my opinion, I'm going to say yes. And you might laugh and think, why would 
you say yes if Google are the kind of big boys and John is the representative of Google? Well, we know that Google can lie. They get caught in lies. I made a video recently about a lie that a Google rep told to a customer around SEO and PPC having the same effect on a website. That is a problem. So they've been caught lying before. So I've got no reason to suggest why this isn't just a big PR exercise on the part of Google to make sure that people build links how Google wants them to. So do you still think that he's telling the truth? Do you actually think that SEOs are listening to every word he says? Well, before you come to that conclusion, take a look at this. So Search Engine Journal recently released an article asking the question, do you blindly follow Google's John Mueller? Now, of course, this sparked a lot of discussion in the SEO community. And essentially, John actually put a survey out on his own Twitter account. So I give him that for bravery because he did get responses. Now, if we scroll down to the survey, you will see the results that came in. The majority don't trust him. The second answer is sometimes only 22% of SEOs on Twitter. Now, of course, this isn't official data. It's not verified, but it's as good as we're going to get. Only 22% actually said they trust John Mueller. So that's a problem. Google have some big work to do in terms of their PR because this guy isn't trustworthy. The advice he gives is often in line with what Google want as opposed to what works for your website. So the best advice I can give you when it comes to SEO is do what works. Read case studies. When you read a case study, when somebody's actually gone and done the work and you can see the background work behind it and the results at the end, that will show you what works and what doesn't work. If you just listen to John Mueller at Google, then there's no surprise you get results like this. And again, I'm going to reiterate the points to you one more time. Quality and quantity matter. It's the quantity of quality. Don't get confused and think that it doesn't matter just because John Mueller said, go for a highest quantity as possible of high quality links. Obviously, there are bad backlinks and backlinks that are weak and of low quality, and Google does ignore them. This is a fact. But there are differences between high quality and low quality in quantity. So I know I'm saying a lot of Q words here. I hope I'm not being too confusing. But if you like this video, please leave a like below. Let me know in the comments if you trust John Mueller. Do you trust Google? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be loving to chat to you down there about what you think. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other content across this channel. And I'll see you guys on my next video.